Beautifully done, he's got a consecutive! Sonic Heroes gets a consecutive and a Great turn from both trucks, it's close, but it's Medusa by inches. Both trucks with another great turn. Zombie clipping the jump, but it doesn't matter. Zombie is gonna... Over the nose here. Left hit on the front end. Rolling the truck over the kicker. Crooked, she needs to watch out here. Oh no, down she goes. Oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome to the ROR SRPS World Finals. My name is Preston Vieira and this weekend I'm joined by a very special guest. For the first time, we have a co-host here on ROR SRPS. Please welcome Mr. Full Boogie Tilt himself, Tyler Reyes. Hey, thanks Preston. I'm excited to be here at Sam Boyd Stadium, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a iconic stadium and we have a lot of stuff planned here today. Absolutely, and I'm so happy that you could be here with us for the World Finals, Tyler. I remember talking to you at the very beginning of 2023, and it was always the goal to have you here with me for the World Finals, and the year has absolutely flown by, and I'm still in disbelief that we're even in an event together. Speaking of our event tonight, we have 24 of our best competitors from all three tours here to battle it out for the top eight qualifying spots in our racing bracket. But the pressure is on here in Las Vegas because the top eight don't just start their world finals racing in round two. They also get the only eight spots in our two wheel skills competition, which means an extra shot at taking home a trophy. Who are you leaning towards this weekend? I mean, there's a lot of heavy hitters. You know, you're, you're talking Megalodon Fire, Predator, Barbarian. Uh, and then you're talking, you know, the the um, the more heavy hitters like Max D. You got Bad Company, Son of a Digger is always on the top. I mean, it's going to be a battle uh, for the top spot to get in through the racing bracket and then throughout the rest of the competition for this World Finals. I mean, these drivers have been working on these trucks uh, for the last few days, getting it really fine-tuned. This is a, a unique style track. There's a lot of different turns, a lot of jumps. There's areas where you can really lay down the metal and get some good horsepower through there, but uh, but then you have to really you know kind of settle it down and get through these corners. This is an interesting racing bracket, and it's going to be really fun to watch. Absolutely. Now, you've had a chance to... In, during the building process all week to check out the absolutely insane layout we have here tonight. You even walked the track with me earlier today, and I want to hear your thoughts. What specifically do you think these drivers need to look out for if they want to be in those top eight qualifying spots and potentially take it all in racing tomorrow night and become our first world racing champion? Well, the, the one thing that really sticks out in my mind, Preston, is the turns. You have left-hand turns, you have right-hand turns. You have a lot of berms. You also have rolling jumps and steeper jumps. There's a lot of areas where you can really kind of get the throttle going, get a lot of horsepower down and really have speed. And it's going to be really a tough racing bracket. As you see, our first two qualifiers here, Mohawk Warrior sitting with 112 uh, points. And then you have, of course, Max D, always a contender. Absolutely. And with 131 points, He's looking to come out on top. He ended uh, his season in uh, third place, I believe, uh, over on the Custom Chaos Tour. And this is looking like an excellent matchup. This is the first time the two have faced off all season, and we're getting staged already for qualifying. All trucks lined up, ready to go. Flashing lights, and we are green and headed into Thunder Alley for the first time tonight. Here we go, baby. First time the trucks have hit the track with our crowd here for qualifying. Nice turn so far. This is the that area, that quick berm. And then you got a tight turn into Thunder Alley here. And this is right really where you can get some speed, but you got to get on the binders for this last half of the track. Absolutely. Both trucks looking solid in this part, or this turnaround here. Coming close, neck and neck. Max D clipping the wall, though. That's going to hurt his time a bit. Yeah, it's definitely going to hinder him a little bit there. You see Mohawk Warrior kind of crossing the line first as time's come through. A 32-64 uh, for Mohawk Warrior and a 32-87 for Max D. So it's pretty close in time, but Mohawk Warrior definitely got the best of him there. Absolutely, and not bad times to start out. Could definitely get a lot worse. 
could potentially get a lot better. We'll see how we do the rest of the night here as these trucks leave Sam Boyd Stadium. Our next competitors are coming out of that red lane in Thunder Rally. Sudden Impact is going to be on your left. He's rocking 26 points. He's our winning sub from the Throwback Tour. And Grinder with 95 points from the season. He's from our sponsor Showdown Tour. Yeah, these guys are, have been heavy hitters all season long. Uh, you know, the Advanced Auto Parts Grinder has got a lot of backing to him. Uh, and they really want to come out here and, and do good for their sponsors as well. But then you got that Lucas Oil sponsored uh, uh, Sutton Impact here, and he's excited to be here for the World Finals. It's been a long time since we've seen this truck here, and I'm excited to see what they can do as qualifying as they both get staged up here waiting on green. Sutton Impact is, I'm, I'm going to say it, he's not our strongest racer of the season. He is our substitute on the throwback tour. Like I said, he has... Uh, a freestyle win under his belt, but zero racing points from the two shows that he was in. We'll see if he can do better tonight as he is struggling a little bit here back in Thunder Alley. You know, the thing about qualifying that I've always enjoyed is it, it, it does count, obviously, right? You want to put up a good time, uh, and you can see Sudden Impact kind of slinging it there a little bit. Um, but the one thing about qualifying is that it gives you a chance to kind of see the track before it really counts during racing. And I think he did a good job there as the times roll in for oh, these trucks. Get a, little, get a little crazy there, Sudden Impact out of Settler Down. Getting into trouble. That's going to be a 34.27 for Sudden Impact. Slowest of the night so far, but we got a long way to go. Grinder with a 32.60. For his first pass. Yeah, not bad at all as we get ready for our next matchup here in Sam Boyd Stadium for the qualifying portion of today's broadcast. Sheriff uh, in the red lane with 93 points and Predator uh, coming out too in with 113 points. So not too bad there. I'm excited to see who's going to come out on top for this qualifying pass. Oh yeah, a couple of uh, indies coming out here in Monster Jam. Predator did pretty well this season. He wasn't one of our, you know, I mean, he was. He was, <laughs> he was our third place spot on the throw down, uh, uh, throwback tour, excuse me. But uh, he had he hasn't take a taken a racing win this season. Uh, he was in the final round twice. But Sheriff over there has just come off of his first freestyle win. We'll see if he can keep the ball rolling tonight in Vegas. You know, you always get a little excited too, right? When you get a win under your belt. I mean, you kind of walk into the uh, the venue with a little bit of swagger. But he's going to have to kind of transfer that energy over to racing because that's where it's really going to have to count tonight. And so far, he's on a, a blazing pass here. Predator's right, kind predator. of getting a little sideways. Yeah, I was going to say, get a little crazy there. Hang on. Getting into a little bit of trouble. All trucks looking solid so far. Sheriff nice and tight around that final turn. Predator slinging that rear end just a little bit too wide there. Slowing him down just a bit. A 34.36 for Predator and a 32.37 for Sheriff. So pretty, you know, an even matchup as far as the kind of the way they were taking those turns. You can kind of see Predator was a little all over the place, using that rear steer a lot to kind of try to counteract the truck. He was oversteering, maybe a little bit too much power uh, underneath the Predator machine, of course, with that Hemi. You're going to produce a lot of power. Look at these, though. Soldier of Fortune with the 94 points will go against Captain's Curse with the 93 points. Both of them very uh, neck and neck when it comes to the point standings. Absolutely. Captain's Curse is actually fresh off of a racing win, his first racing win of the season. He was chasing it all season long from about show four. He's made it up into the semifinals every show just about. I think there was one show there where he didn't, but from show four to the end of the season, he's been on a roll. We'll see how he does tonight as they, both of these trucks are getting staged here to go qualifying. You know, one thing I love about qualifying is that, you know, you kind of can see the drivers at work. A lot of them vote to take the bodies off to kind of save them for the show. The one thing that I've always uh, thought that they would try to do is keep the hoods on at least because you kind of get the, the, the where your truck is at. You get a better idea of where to turn, where the tires are. These guys are going straight cage, which give you way better visibility. And look at this. They're really slinging it here. Soldier Fortune clipping that pod a little bit. I, I was going to say the same thing. Kind of clip the pod around that fun box. Look at the turn, though. Beautifully done from both trucks. Sliding, drifting around that corner from Captain's Curse, and that is going to bring us to the end as Soldier Fortune clips that dumpster. 32.46 for Soldier Fortune, a 32.94 for Captain's Curse. So pretty close in timing. You know, of course, Captain's Curse probably had a little chip on their shoulder from winning racing. You got to come in. It's always kind of... Uh, you know, heavy hitting. It's like, well, you're gonna you're gonna back it up, or, or you're gonna fluke it out. And and so far, that was a solid time. But look at this. Oh yeah, here we go. 
Some more heavy hitters now hitting the qualifying. Grave Digger with 90 points with that beautiful silver flag and Dysfunctional with 100 points coming into today's show. Absolutely, Grave Digger is actually one of our trucks that has a custom scheme here for the World Finals. He is rocking that season body, uh, or that season hood, excuse me, going qualifying, got the body off, just the hood hanging on. But you can see those rims in those BKTs are brand new for this event. I'm curious to see what he's gonna bring out for racing tomorrow night. But both trucks are staged here and we're going green to go qualifying, launching into Thunder Alley. Keeping it really nice and tight around. Using the berm. A lot of the guys want to use that berm. But you don't want to use it too much because it actually will generate a lot of momentum. And you can actually pop out of that thing, which would be just catastrophic. <laughs> but these drivers are doing a good job now. of Down around the fun box at the other end of the stadium now. Keeping good momentum. You can kind of see the brand new rims that Dysfunctional has on there. Kind of showing, peeking out a little bit for the World Finals. Not a bad turn. Gravedigger took it a little too wide. Dysfunctional will come across the line first. I'm excited to see these times. It's functional with a 3246 and Gravedigger with a 3267. Now we've seen a couple of trucks do it tonight. Gravedigger, just another one to add to the list. Clipping that wall, heading into that final turn. These trucks are trying to go out just a bit too wide. It's a tight, tight entry into that turn. It is, and you gotta be careful because if you sling it a little too wide, like Gravedigger did, you're gonna catch the edge. A Donkey Kong now comes out with 85 points and Rageaholic with 115 points to come in today's World Finals broadcast. Of course, qualifying is just one of the ones, the little sneak peek videos you get to see, and it's really fun to see a full broadcast because a lot of people don't get to witness qualifying. Absolutely, I totally agree. And when we started the ROR SRPS season, the World Finals obviously was huge on our minds, and uh, we can't, you can't, can't miss qualifying, can't skip it has to be included in the broadcast now. Rageaholic and that whole team screen uh, team has been killing it this season in, uh, in, during, this, during the tour. Uh, all, not all three, we had four team screen trucks on this season and uh, three of them were on that custom chaos tour battling it out head to head. And uh, Avenger ended up coming out on top, but Rageaholic was right there with him. He came out fourth in the standings for the whole tour. Yeah, he was just doing an incredible job. But look at this turn from Donkey Kong. Both of these guys actually took that course very nice. This is going to be a tight time here. Donkey Kong turns in at 32.45 and Rageaholic with a 32.23. So again, just a few tenths of a second closer uh, to that top spot. They're really going for it. That was a good qualifying round. Absolutely. Donkey Kong has been stepping it up a lot. He was struggling a bit in racing throughout the season, but... He was uh, improving a lot in freestyle, not so much that that matters tonight, but uh, he did lay down a solid time. Rageaholic, though, I would like to mention, has one of our fastest of the night so far. Yeah, that was a fast time put up there. You can see now coming on the left side of your screen, you can see Maximum Destruction, of course, uh, Sonic over there on the other side. Uh, this is going to be kind of a, a fun matchup here uh, for qualifying. And you're going to see these lights come up. You're going to notice there's two yellow dots on each side. One will go bright, but just like that, the, the Supreme stage. And then it's going to go into the final stage. And that's where we're going to go green. And just like that, you're going to see the kind of the light tree work at the top of the screen there. Seeing what the drivers see on the course. Sonic Heroes looking pretty decent. Maximum destruction oh. getting into some trouble there. Getting it back down on the BKTs. And that's what I was talking about. You come into that berm a little too tight. It's gonna, there's a lot of momentum, and that energy sometimes bends up. And it kind of bucked him a little bit, but he got it back on all four BKTs and was ready to rock and roll. Absolutely. Maximum destruction. Another truck clipping the wall there in that entry. Sonic Heroes, our substitute champion from the Sponsor Showdown Tour, doing a bit better than Maximum Destruction in his practice lap. Yeah, Maximum Destruction with a 34-14, Sonic Heroes with a 32-92, so he's in contention for that tops qualifying area. Uh, you know, in the women's style, men's style chassis, you see those trucks are going to have a harder time with this course because a lot of different turns. Those trucks aren't really made to kind of drift out and sling. They're more of a tight turn, pedal to the metal type of uh, truck when it comes to racing. But look at this, Scarlet Bandit, left side of your screen with 83 points. Megalodon, 107 points on the right side of your screen. You, you know the Megalodon's looking for that top spot here tonight. Absolutely. A one-time racing champion this season 
from our Azteca show, our second show of the season on the Custom Chaos Tour. Scarlet Bandit was looking good in our final show of the season in racing. She is a two-time freestyle champion this season over on the Throwback Tour. Both trucks getting staged here, pre-staged, lit up, and getting staged now for qualifying. I'm interested to see how a Megalodon does. He's been in contention for racing wins a couple times this season, but just gave it away at the end. So it's exciting going into qualifying and then racing tomorrow night. It is, and that whole camp, they just they they want to show up and they always put out for the fans. I mean, they love being here. So it's kind of fun to see them get closer and closer to that top spot because that's really where they deserve to be. They drive hard, their equipment's nice, and, and you know, and they're going to make passes like this. It's going to be in tight contention. I mean, look at them kind of swinging oh. it a little bit there, but Scarlet Bandit on a rope. This is going to be really close time. Absolutely super close race there from both trucks. Scarlet Bandit with a 32.70 wow. and it on fire with a 32.66. Three, three hundredths of a second there. <laughs> I mean, that, that is as one of the closest races we've seen all day. And I think we're going to see that when we get into the racing portion of the broadcast for the to crown ourselves a champ. You're going to see a lot of tight races. Absolutely, especially as we get up into the later rounds of the night. The winners going against the winners, you know, that's going to be wild. Bad company now with 135 points from the season on your left. And, uh... I, I, I missed it. <laughs> zombie. I know, they kind of look the same without the bodies, don't they? <laughs> right, Zombie over there with 178 points from the season over on that uh, throwback tour. Bad Company from the Custom Chaos Tour, of course, got two racing wins under his belt this season. So we'll see how he does tonight in qualifying. You know, a lot of these guys were kind of wrenching on the trucks a little bit earlier uh, this morning before the uh, pit party. A lot of fans were able to come in to, to watch qualifying. They were able to kind of get up and close and personal to their trucks and to kind of see how they work. And what's really fun is that a lot of them had the bodies off for that. And, and you can see the tr driver at work during qualifying without the restriction of that body. You can really see them working here, and it's fun to watch. Right, absolutely. That's one of my favorite parts is actually getting to see the trucks work without the body on. The bodies are awesome. The artwork is always amazing. But you love to get up close and personal with the inner workings of these trucks. Bad Company closing out with a 32.47 zombie with the 32.04 wow. fastest time of the night so far. Preston, that is incredible. I mean, you're we're getting close to breaking into the, to the high 31s. I mean, that is fast. That is a really good time, and I'm excited to see how that matches up through the rest of our qualifying field. Son of a Look digger down the left side of your screen. Yeah, 138 points, and Skele Dragon with a 21 uh, over there. Man, this is exciting. Absolutely. Skele Dragon, our winning substitute, our qualifying substitute, I should say, uh, from the Custom Chaos Tour, took a racing win, one of our only subs to take a racing win this season uh, over in uh, Grutersburg, the, the Gaithersburg event, uh, all themed out with the minions and Gru, and uh, did pretty well. Got himself a second show where he earned some more points, but was unable to grab another win in either event. We'll see how he does in the World Finals as we go green and launch into Thunder Alley for these two. You know, right off the bat, when you're looking at these two trucks, you know, Skelly Dragon, you can see, sits a little lower center of gravity. The, ch the chassis is a little skinnier, and it also is wider. You got way wider housings on there. And then you can see Son of a Digger more of the traditional setup, but still a really good piece. I mean, you know how uh, Son of a Digger rides. I mean, just Absolutely. flat out going Skelly for Skelly Dragon it. losing it a Whoa. little bit. He did, got it slid out there, stood on it, got a willy going. He's got to make it up here. Yep, Son of a Digger's going to come across the line first. Let's see what the times are. Skelly Dragon is going to have a second chance to make it up. A 32.72 for Skelly Dragon. 32.05, second wow. fastest of the night for Son of a Digger. Uh, but we'll see how Skelly Dragon does in his second attempt a little later here tonight. Uh, as they leave Sam Boyd Stadium, we're going to get into our next qualifiers here. And this is a solid matchup. First time these two have faced off. On your right, we got Medusa, our throwback tour champion with 186 points, a record here. And wow. Thunder Roris over on your left with 140, another champion, our uh, tour champion over on the Sponsor Showdown Tour. And I'm seeing a little bit of yellow on those rings. <laughs> I'm, I'm, thinking, uh, I'm thinking he's got something special planned there for Thunder Roris. 
Of course, he's got. A, I'm thinking he's going to have a custom scheme. I don't want to give too much away. You're going to have to find <laughs> out. Uh, but it looks pretty sweet. Of course, he's a sponsor showdown uh, tour champion. Medusa, though, is bad fast uh, all um, throughout her event. So I'm excited to see what she can do here at, at uh, Sam Boyd Stadium. First time in a long time, Preston. Oh, yeah. It's good to have her return to the season. I got to give a shout out to my mom because she loves Medusa, has always loved Medusa. So it's good to have her here in the World Finals. She's done great this season, and that's non-biased. She has absolutely killed it. Her and Zombie have faced off multiple times this season, and she's come out on top a lot of those times. I mean, you're going to have to if you're going to accumulate over 180 points. I mean, you're going to have to be flat out going for it and say, come around the lines. Thunder Roars is going to cross the line first here, but that doesn't matter. It comes down to the times. Who had a quicker one? Medusa, 33.27. Thunder Roars with another low 32 with a 32.24, not too bad. Still not as fast as the son of the diggers of the world, you know, and those low uh, 32s. And hopefully we can see someone break into the high 31s. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm hoping so. You can see a lot of potential on this track, not just in what we've seen already, but this matchup right here, our tour champion over on the Custom Chaos Tour, Avenger, with 178 points, facing off against Barbarian with 122 both of these trucks uh, are two of our custom schemes that we're going to have debut tomorrow. So this is exciting to see these two come out and give us a little bit of a sneak peek with those rims. Uh, Avenger with the black and Barbarian with the blue. He had the red beads on there all season. So we'll see how that works out tomorrow. But both trucks are lining up and getting staged here for their qualifying passes. As we get ready here for their qualifying round, like you were just touching on a little earlier, these guys are heavy hitters. They really know how to race, and, and Avengers come a long way when it comes to racing. You know, he, they're getting the, the truck really dialed in. We've seen him go all the way to the semifinals before at World Finals, so now here uh, is it, just going to try to do it again. It's fun to see him do more than freestyle. Absolutely. I remember being at World Finals 18, shocked that he made it to the semifinals, but absolutely elated. Both of these trucks having solid passes. Uh, Avenger drifting around that turn very nicely, and that is going to do it for their qualifying passes. Doesn't look like they need much practice here on this on this uh, layout. Barbarian with a 32.48, Avenger with a 32.82, and it is looking good for these for these two drivers. You know, as we as we kind of roll out through here for our qualifying, we're going to take a look at the top qualifiers so far. Zombie with a 32.04, Son of a Digger with a 32.05, very close to first spot, and rounding out that top three, Rageaholic with a 32.23. Matches actually, excuse me, with Thunder Roars, they're actually tied for that uh, third place spot, and then it goes down from there. I mean, there's a lot of fast passes, a lot of clean passes, but also a lot of hiccups. Right, and at what you're looking at right now, our top eight, those. If, if this if qualifying were to end here, those would be our qualifiers into the two-wheel skills competition. But we still got a whole other round to go, and there could be a lot of big moves. There can be, and everyone's kind of going for that. They really want to make it uh, for the two-wheel skills portion. It's another, uh, you know, a fun thing for the fans to see and you can see the the the, the next uh, eight here bad company barbarian grinder all within that high 32s and then when we start getting down that's where it gets tighter gravedigger scarlet bandit skelly dragon all within very close times uh for their qualifying passes absolutely and it, it's just an extra round of practice here and uh we'll see if anybody can improve but i mean just starting out, round one, these are these are some solid times. We only have three trucks way down at the bottom here. Maximum Destruction with a 34-14, Sudden Impact with a 34-27, and Predator 34-36 are bottom three. But, I mean, we'll see how they can do in, in round two. If, the goal is to improve, but, I mean, you never know. Yeah, and you never know what's going to happen when you line up for actual racing, right? Qualifying, again, is more of a, a, a practice, kind of get it down. You want to qualify high. You know, and Max D, or excuse me, Maximum Destruction here, he, he, he did tag that wall, or in the berm, excuse me. He kind of got up a little bit and kind of got a little sideways. So I think if he slows down through those turns uh, for the next round, he might be able to shave off uh, some time off that 32.14. But look at this, rolling right into it, Preston. Absolutely. We're going to go reverse through the list this time, Avenger. Fast time with a 32.82 so far. Barbarian, 32.84, fresh off of their last qualifying times. We're going to bring them right back out and set them up for round two. 
Yeah, round two is you've already seen the track, right? You've already seen, you know, the turns. You know what the truck's going to do. Of course, you're going to have a little different turns here because you're on the opposite side of the stadium. But you kind of know the dirt. And that's the main thing. Is, is the dirt tacky? Is it loose? You know, is it breaking away at some points? Those are the things you really have to pay attention for, especially in qualifying when you're going for that top spot. Absolutely. And we're already heading back into Thunder Rally, right back into the berm, which, as you said, gave a couple of trucks some trouble here. Both trucks looking solid. Barbarian nice and tight back into Thunder Alley. We'll see if Avenger can keep up here. He's a little bit behind. Yeah, he's a little bit slower here around the fun box now to the, the, the latter half of the of the track. Final turn now coming in. Barbarian has a nice turbo. Look at Avenger. Super Wow. Tight. That was awesome. This is going to be a close time here. Let's see if they improved. Avenger is going to come in with a 32.94, a bit slower, but Barbarian comes up with a 32.21, a solid pass from Barbarian. Yeah, you know, Barbarian was really feeling it there. I saw those turns. He was letting it wide open. He knew that where the truck was at. He had a peace of mind to kind of give her the throttle when she needed it and, and definitely turned in a good uh, qualifying time here. Medusa now in the left lane, or excuse me, the left side of your screen, will... Uh, her first pass, 32.27. Thunder Roris in the right side with a 32.24. They're both looking to kind of shave off some time here off that qualifying pass. Especially Medusa. I mean, as you said, I totally agree. Qualifying is not where it all depends. You will, There will be some changes and some mix-ups in the bracket here. Uh, and that's a big... Uh, a big factor as well. Who you're going against is, is the pressure on. Uh, but... Uh, she, she does want to shave off some time. Yeah, she does. And, and you're right, right? Like The pressure is definitely there. You want to make it good. And, and not to say that qualifying doesn't count because it absolutely does. Right. It's just it should it oh, should be a little out. bit less, proud, less pressure. And you were just talking about the pressure. She came into that wicked fast. And that's what I was talking about with that energy. You got to be careful in that berm. Definitely. The desperation to try and shave off some points and qualify for the two-wheel skills competition to try and get a championship under your belt, that, that adds a bit of pressure. And, I mean, it, it just goes to show you you got to try to relax and clear your mind heading into especially those berms, but the entire layout here. Let's take a look at these times. Medusa now 38.59. She's oh. not going to improve. Thunder Roris 32.33. It's not a bad time from there. And I think Medusa, she she did a good job saving it through that berm because she, she was on her way to be on her lid. Absolutely. Something we haven't seen tonight. Nobody has rolling and, or rolled the truck, excuse me. And uh, we also don't have any DNFs, which is, I mean, congratulations. We've had a few trucks roll throughout the season uh, multiple times at some events. So it's good to see these guys, all guys and gals, come out and uh, keep it on all fours and Make sure if they do get up into some trouble, they can bring it back down. Yeah, and it's always the goal not to roll the truck over, right? But the fans love it. So it's Absolutely. kind of a, it's a, you're torn as a driver. You're like, do I roll it for the fans? Do I keep it for my crew guys? Uh, we'll see. Right. <laughs> Luckily, we got racing. some camera angles, but uh, the, yeah. that uh, these trucks are heading back into Thunder Alley. And if anybody rolls back there, these fans in person are going to have some trouble seeing it. Hopefully, we get some rolls in the stadium, if anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. So far, so good. Both of them, as you can see, a side-by-side -side here. I mean, they're landing Ooh. pretty much identical. Oh, wow, it took that way too wide. Bumping that barrier. Son of a oh, digger bumping the wall, getting God. way out wide. This this pass is a mess on both sides. Oh, this but is, they bring where, it across the line. They? That was oh, then another tag from... <laughs> oh man, I don't think they've improved, but I mean, who knows? Let's see. Let's, let's take a look at the time. Son of a Digger, thirty-two ninety-five, and Skeleton Dragon, thirty-two nineteen. So not a not bad a time bad from pass Dragon. at all from Skeleton Dragon. Son yeah. of a Digger definitely did not improve his time, but they got across the line. As we said, that's that's at least it's not a DNF, right? <laughs> exactly. You got to make the pass. Look at Zombie now, left side of your screen, thirty-two oh four. Our top qualifier so far bad company on the right side 32 47 so he's looking to come back zombies already in good contention for the time he's either got to match it or do better here absolutely and zombie is one of those trucks that a lot of people probably would have expected to come out on top as i said him and medusa had that rivalry all season but it a lot of the time it was him up in the finals with her 
You know what I mean? So if he can make it there, you can only imagine the expectations put on Medusa. And that didn't necessarily go so well last uh, this current round. No, it, it, and you're right. It didn't. And I think the pressure got to her a little bit. And, and so Zombie's kind of feeling the same thing. He wants to make sure he gets through it. Both the drivers now into the berm. Zombie taking the berm really high into that turn. It might slow him down a little bit in Thunder Alley. Bad company with a good pass so far into the final turn around the fun box. Well, Zombie taking it in oh, solid. No. Zombie bumping it with the front end and getting launched out backwards. That is definitely going to hurt his time as bad company is still looking solid over the line. That is exactly what happens, Preston. When you get a little too fast in that corner, your truck's going to wash away. And unfortunately, he's not going to make a better time. Still has that good time he put in earlier, but Zombies are now turning a 36.98. And Bad Company now with a 32.29. So good pass by Bad Company. Zombie felt the pressure and just let it wash away. Absolutely. You get a little too cocky sometimes when you have the fastest pass of the night. And if you're trying to get down into those high 31s, as you mentioned earlier, you know, it, it happens. Megalodon coming out. On your left, 32.66 was his fast time, or his last time. Scarlet Bandit with a 32.70 on your right. Yeah, and these and, and Scarlet Bandit really wants to improve on that time. And, you know, the one thing that we were talking about, you know, going back to Zombie is, you know, in the in the pits, you know, when you get the fastest time, all the other drivers, the other crew, they're, they're edging you a little bit, right? They're like, come on. Was that real or was that a fluke, you know? And, and so that pressure does get to you. So hopefully these two here kind of keep their cool heads and lay down a nice solid pass for round number two. Both stage, we're going green for qualifying. Man, the, one of the coolest sights, and you it's showcased here in this track beautifully, is getting to see these trucks launch off of that starting line. A lot of the time, most of the time, in Sam Boyd Stadium, you don't get to see that. They're back in Thunder Alley and they come into it. But here it's reverse. You're starting in the stadium and launching out of it, and we're already into this final turn around the fun box. Yeah, and it's and like you said, it's fast passes, right? It's and it's really that that sights, the sounds, the smells of qualifying always gets fun. These trucks are really getting hot now, going into their second pass. Not bad from either one of these drivers. Let's take a look at their times as they cross the line. Megalodon with a 32.65, but Scarlet Bandit will win this uh, qualifying heat with a 32.20, or excuse me, 32.44. So not bad passes. And I believe that was uh, her faster pass of the night as well. Scarlet so Bandit's they, last one was a 32.70. So there you go. She's improving. Yeah, she is. And, and that's the thing. That's the goal, right? You want to be improving. Now let's take a look at these. Uh, Sonic Heroes, 32.92. Maximum Destruction, 34.14. We talked about the different setups with Maximum Destruction. That might be a little uh, hindrance in this course because there's a lot of turns. We've said the right-hand turns, left-hand turns, jumps, straightaways, all of those stuff. You've got to kind of play it to your strengths, and he's got a long chassis. His chassis is extra long compared to other trucks, and it's a little lower center of gravity, a little wider. It's got a little bit of a different setup. So he's really got to make these turns count as we get ready for qualifying here, and hopefully they can keep their cool heads and improve on their times as we go green right here into Thunder Alley. Absolutely, and one thing showcased right there in going into Thunder Rally, there's a lot of sway in that chassis going through these turns. Maximum destruction looking good, though. Not terrible, oh, but yeah. losing that back oh. end. Sometimes that, that rear end will kind of wash away, and if you're trying to correct it with the rear steer, it actually does the opposite effect, and it kind of just spins you out. you got to be careful, but he's made it up around the fun box now. Sonic Heroes, not to take anything away. We've been talking about maximum destruction a lot, but he had a solid pass, washed out a little bit, but still a good qualifying pass from him. Absolutely. Maximum Destruction not tapping that wall this time. So it is improving through that final turn in that tight entry. Uh, Sonic Heroes ends up with a 33.06. Not, not an improvement on his last time. Maximum Destruction a 33.56. Not bad qualifying passes from either one of these guys as we continue on through our qualifying broadcast here. A lot of fun stuff happening in Sam Boyd Stadium. It's always a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Donkey Kong, the right side of your screen, 32-45 for his first round. Rageaholic, 32-23, and he's on the left side of your screen. And this is going to be kind of a fun matchup. Both of these guys did a pretty solid pass last time, pretty close in times. They want to improve on that. I would like to see them kind of get in the lower 32s. Or, I mean, hey, you never know. We get into those 31s, baby. We know we're cooking. Absolutely. Anything can happen. And when you get in the spirit of the World Finals, sometimes you can get a little bit blessed. 
Yeah, you never know when you get here that the vibes, right? I mean, we're in Las Vegas. This this building is iconic. It has so much history, and you can feel that when you're in attendance as they scream in to Thunder Rally around the berms. Rage getting a little bit close to the front of that bus. Oh, Donkey Kong on. is the one getting in trouble, though, around the berm. Wow, man. It bit another one. I don't... I mean, he's got to really fly around this last half of the course to get this time up. Let's see what he can do here. Both trucks pulling in nice and tight. Donkey Kong, a solid recovery. But we're heading into this final turn. Rageaholic. Beautiful wow. turn. A little, a little hanging out on the exit. But, I mean, what can you do? That was great. Yeah, that was not bad at all as they're turning in their times for qualifying in the second portion of today's uh, episode. Rageaholic. 32.59, uh, Donkey Kong 33.67, so a little slower uh, than Rage Holic on that pass, but he did kind of get a little uh, on on two wheels. He had to settle it down, right? And both and neither truck, I should say, uh, improved on their time, but they had some decent runs to get us started, so they'll probably see pretty nicely. Grave Digger coming out now to for his second round, uh, 32.67, and uh, dysfunctional with a 32.46 for their last passes. Yeah, all these guys, they want to improve. They've been saying it. That, I mean, that's the that's the goal, right? You want to improve. You want to be better. I'm excited to see Gravedigger's custom uh, uh, scheme here for the for the show. I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, they kept it super under wraps. <laughs> so uh, it gets me excited to see them line up. But let's see what they can do in their final passes out here for qualifying. Yeah, that Gravedigger team, they did throw something out there this season saying uh, – they were mixing the old with the new or something like that, but dysfunctional. Oh, no. What is going on this What pass? happened? Oh, my goodness. I mean, he just just washed out there. It's, it's the pressure of the world finals, man. It's real. Take nothing away oh. from Grave Digger. They're slinging. Hang on. Oh, Grave Digger now hit the fun box. These guys are all over the board right now. Yeah, they're trying to, trying to do too much overdriving just a little bit. Yep. Dysfunctional, I think. I don't know. Might have been going for a super quick entry or something and just he missed just, it. He missed it. <laughs> it they, he did. It's plain and simple, right? Missed yeah. it. And that's just what happened. Look, he's going to turn in a 38.29 for dysfunctional. Gravedigger 33.16. So not bad times uh, for these guys out here. And dysfunctional has got to get something under wraps here. He cannot do that in the racing portion. At all. He does have our slowest time uh, for, a, for a completed run so far. That's uh, that's working for him. <laughs> yeah, that's a stat, right? I mean, hey, right. <laughs> baseball tracks errors. We we, we track the the miss ups on your qualifying passes. <laughs> so. Absolutely. <laughs> Soldier Fortune now on your right, and Captain's Curse on your left. Rematch of last round. They're gonna try and improve their times again. I'm looking forward to see what uh, Captain's Curse can do this weekend. Captain's Curse was looking solid all season, had a decent first round, and I, I am betting on him to improve. We'll see how he does here. Well, and like you said, right, he's off of a fresh racing win, right? I mean, he, he's got that pressure, and he wants to keep it going. As he get around the, to the berm area, Captain's Curse takes it a little wide up top, but he's really slinging it around. Absolutely heading over that roller. Soldier Fortune almost clipping that skills pad, getting into trouble, but she keeps it under control heading into this turn. Actually looking pretty solid, keeping up with on. Captain's Curse oh, pretty no. well. Loses it. Wow. Let us just talk about the shift into reverse back to drive. That is so... <laughs> I mean, that was... I mean, it's hard It's hard on your transmission. Make no mistake, but that was quick. Captain's Curse turns into 33.77. Soldier Fortune, a 33.54. So, again, pretty close in times. I think we saw that in round number one from them uh, for qualifying. Again, close in times. Absolutely. And it just goes to show what could have been with that, uh, without that mistake. Predator coming out on the left now. 34.36. Sheriff with a 32.37 last round. And uh, these two are another matchup that both are debuting custom schemes tomorrow. Uh, Sheriff, I heard, uh, keeping it keeping it pretty classic, but there's some, some new school touches in there. Predator, uh, no word from their team. Yeah, you know, they've been really just kind of dialing in the truck. Of course, Predator runs that Hemi big block, and it pushes a lot of horsepower, but it's gotta be careful because that can be a hindrance if you're spinning tires and not getting traction. Absolutely. Heading into this berm now. Both trucks keeping it nice and tight around that bus. That is something that I was worried about 
in this layout where these trucks are going to clip it and flip the trucks but they're they're keeping it solid nice and uh controlled around those buses as we head into this fun box area oh, no there sheriff it is. going for a roll and oh. predator getting into trouble as well and that is a tough break he's not going to get a time so he's going to have to stick with his first qualifying pass as predator now comes across the the line there sheriff just came into that way too hot he's going to earn himself a dnf Predator, though, will improve a 3250. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, Predator. What is what going are you doing? on? What? <laughs> <laughs> the pass is done. Calm you down. <laughs> All you have to do is drive into the pits. Look at him, though. He landed it. He's like, whatever. We'll go. Man, I, he must be hyped because he probably heard in the radio, hey, that was a way better pass. But both of them went upside down. Absolutely. I, I, I'm, I'm still in shock that he, he rolled the truck. <laughs> Grinder coming out now on your and left. So I, I was just about to ask you, Grinder, sudden impact. Who you got for this one? Honestly, I have to fall back on what we've seen throughout the season. Grinder is looking solid. He has two racing wins under his belt throughout the season. Sudden impact, again, rocking zero points for racing specifically. Um, I, I, I got to go with Old Reliable here as we're about to go green and we'll see how it's running. But who are you leaning towards? I, I always, I love the underdogs, baby. I want Sudden Impact to come out here and throw down a good time to get a good spot in that qualifying uh, area for the racing. But, I mean, it's anybody's game here. They're both pretty even coming out of Thunder Alley, though. Absolutely. Oh. Sudden Impact getting into trouble clipping that jersey barrier coming out of Thunder Alley. He, let me tell you, Preston, he's lucky he didn't blow a tire out. That is absolutely. A, that is a tough BKT right there. He's lucky uh, he didn't pull a, a Black Pearl, you know, rolling up into the wall there. So many people have come out of Thunder Alley with too much speed, and they've just tossed a grinder, 32.77. Sudden Impact, a 33.12. Not terrible for either truck. Uh, grinder. Uh, did not improve though. Uh, 17.17 uh, added to his uh, past uh, past pass. <laughs> Max D yeah. coming out on the left. 32.87 was his last time. Mohawk Warrior fire with a 32.64. Yeah, these guys. Uh, if I remember correctly, when we started the broadcast, Max D he actually tagged the wall in a turn. He's got to be careful because not only is that really not really what you want to do right you, you want to keep the truck under control not only does it is it hurt you know your morale you're like oh man i hit the wall but he also hinders your time and you've got to be careful especially going up against someone like mohawk warrior absolutely and actually both max d trucks struggling a bit on this layout max d didn't really have too bad of a time but learning the track is something that they gotta they gotta you know they gotta check it out oh, a couple no. more oh, times no. what is oh. going on with max d tonight that is a huge rollover in the backfield, the hot pit area. That is a huge rollover. Hopefully, we're going to get some people out there to check on Max D as, as Mohawk Warrior Fire continues on for his qualifying pass. You know, luckily, Max D got a good time in the round number one because he's going to get a DNF for round number two as Mohawk Warrior Fire comes across the line. Let's take a look at the times. That's going to be a 32.84 for Mohawk Warrior Fire. No time for Max D, unfortunate rollover. But that is gonna be the end of our qualifying passes tonight. Let's take a look at our leaderboard here. Zombie, fast time of 32.04 in that blue lane. Son of a Digger, a 32.05 in that red lane. Skeledragon, 32.19. Barbarian, 32.21. And it just goes down from there. Rageaholic, 32.23. Super close here with Thunder Roarus, a 32.24. Uh, Bad Company with a 32.29 and Sheriff with a 32.37. Those are your top eight and your two-wheel skills qualifiers. They'll be performing in that two-wheel skills challenge tomorrow night, trying to earn themselves a championship and a trophy. You can see uh, the, the typically the first round uh, qualifying was a little faster as we move on to the next date. Scarlet Bandit, 32.44. Donkey Kong, 32.45. Soldier Fortune, 32.46. Ty is dysfunctional with the 32.46. Very close in times for those uh, 9 through 12 spots. 32.60 for Grinder, 32.64. Again, very tight. Look at this. Mohawk Warrior, Megalodon, Gravedigger, 32.64, 32.65. I mean, they are within tenths of a second uh, from each other. This is going to make some, for some really good racing coming up in our next uh, broadcast.
Absolutely, and I can't wait to see how it goes. And uh, I, I don't know if they're going to show us a look at our bracket, but if you've been following along, I am sure your bracket is looking insane. We got a great group, group of trucks and some pretty great times on this track. Avenger, 32.82. Max D, 32.87 with that only time that he uh, was able to complete. Sonic Heroes, 32.92. Captain's Curse right behind him with a 32.94. Sudden Impact, 33.12 was his fast time. Medusa, 3327 predator with 3350 and maximum destruction down at the bottom tonight with 3356 I mean you look at that the last those last eight there they are just gunning for it and they really want to make something happen those guys are gonna have to they're, they're gonna get paired up against fast qualifiers right so those bottom uh, eight drivers have got to be on kill absolutely and here's a look at your two-wheel skills uh, competitors sheriff is going to come out on top this is a reverse order of your fastest uh, qualifier here sheriff bad company thunder roarist rageaholic barbarian skele dragon zombie and uh son of a digger and zombie excuse me and we got some big names on that list we do and those guys are heavy hitters too for the two wheel skills portion and that's gonna be fun to watch absolutely and uh, that is going to do it for your qualifying night, though. Be sure to subscribe and follow on Instagram at RORSRPS. To find out some stuff about a potential Season 2, you can voice your opinions and give truck requests, and you even get to pick what tour what trucks get put on. So that's exciting. You have a voice here on the RORSRPS channel. Uh, but, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to catch the rest of the World Finals. And uh, Tyler, take it away and tell them about yourself. Man, thank you guys so much for having me, Preston, all the whole team here. This has been a, an awesome event, qualifying. I mean, this is just the start, right? We got two wheel skills, racing, freestyle, the whole works coming up just, uh, you know, in the next couple broadcasts. And I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. And I'm looking forward to what we can pull off here in Sam Boyd Stadium next. Absolutely. And one more time, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Tyler Reyes, for helping me co-host. This has been a great night of qualifying here at Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas. And we will see you guys in racing.